One of the most fascinating things about Neymar was the interest she took in other spheres of the arts other than the one um, that she was, of course, expert at. And perhaps the one that she loved best was photography. As a young woman, she loved picking up a camera and taking it with her wherever she went, particularly traveling. We've seen some lovely photographs she took on the Grand Tour in the early 1920s. But it was only really when she married Max in 1930 that she found a real outlet for her love of photography. She went to Syria with him and Max dug up all these wonderful objects from the ground and he wanted her to photograph them scientifically in the way that they actually looked when he dug them out of the ground. But being Nima, she knew that there was an artistic side to photography, so she went and did a course at the Ryman School back in London and she learned all about the artistic side of photography this is how Neymar described her experiences at the modernistic Ryman School. There was a passion at that time, making everything look as unlike what it was as possible. Or some deliberately out of focus effect from the various cameras, from the various filters. I did experiment taking things from unusual angles. There was also a big tendency to photograph an object, not in the middle of a plate, but somewhere in the left-hand corner. It was all terribly arty, very much the latest thing. And there was then a contrast between the artistic side, which Neymar was very interested in, and the scientific side, which was what the Grumpy Max wanted to see. So this was what Neymar described about the conflict. I didn't want it to look exciting, Max. I want it to look like what it is. Don't you think the necklace looks rather dull like that, I would say? No, I don't, Max. The way you've got it, it's all sort of blurred up and twisted. Yes, but it looks so exciting, and you haven't put the scale rod in. But it ruins the artistic aspect of a photograph. I'm often asked, how Neymar would have coped with modern technology and the way it affected her work, iPads, apps and that kind of thing. Based on her experience with photography and modernism, the answer is that she would have embraced it better than most of us. <laughs>